to the rain. And calm the storm in me. Now the storm is in me, right? In my heart. The Lord that calm the sea, this is the sea. Will calm the storm in me. We all have experienced this kind of situation, right? Okay. Ah, next one. I am yours. Okay. Ah, that who shall I fear? Bang the bell and the big deal. Ah, now we next time. It's it's a new song, but I hope that we can use this song to worship God. Okay. So so we now we're gonna enter into a time of worship. Okay. Ah. Separate God's love from us, and that is the truth. 
that is the unchanging truth. God loves you from the day that you were born. Actually, He loved you way before you were born. How precious is that? How precious is that? So let's sing from the top one more time, okay? Let's sing from the bottom of the heart. Who am I? Short while, how short. 
whatever our lives are, in view of you, God, for you're the God of eternity. But you love us so much, you want us to be with you for eternity. Your love is so great, and you want us to be a part of that love. Help us to see with your eyes, Lord, the value that you see in each and every one of us. Because in you, we have infinite, ultimate value. And it's because of your love for us that we can love one another. And it's because of your love for us that we can give you our wholehearted praise. And it's because of your love. Because of you, and we are yours. Heavenly Father, this time is yours. Heavenly Father, we are yours. And we give all of ourselves to you. And we pray this in your precious Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you all for, for coming to the Andy Worship Team. And, and today, we're changing a little bit of, uh, uh, we used to have a memory verse right after this. Uh, but we're going to go right into uh, our speaker today as uh, Eric and you will be uh, sharing with us uh, the Psalms. And the Psalms are our, our Psalms. No memory verse. <laughs> So uh, yeah, we're going to go right into mail, mail, pay to you. So we're going to get a couple of Julia, Eric, the French. So he's going to share with us again. Everyone likes Psalms, and we 
got to uh, read the psalm every day. Why is it important uh, for a Christian to uh, know uh, the emotion of psalm? Why? Because uh, the psalm are uh, not just expressing the emotion to God, but they are emotion expression of the faithful that David. Okay, it's just not just not only uh, emotion expression to God, but there are sounds which express the emotion from those very faithful to God, such as David, uh, such as Isaac, and so on. And the psalm are the feelings of people who are righteous in their lives and say, let's know about the authors of the psalm. I should introduce you, them to you last time, but I, I don't have time to. So I, I introduced the authors of them because they are so faithful to God. Okay, the first author is David. He writes 73 psalms in the book of Psalm. So, most people think the Psalm are written by David, but it's not. She wrote only 73 Psalms, less than half. And the second one is Esau. Esau is the music director uh, during the region of David and Solomon. He wrote 12. And the third author is the sons of Paro and the, the fourth, the Solomon, he write uh, only two. Then Moses, only one. And Heman, only one. And Isa, only one. And, and the rest, 48 Psalms, are anonymous. It's unknown writers. So it's totally about 150 Psalms in the book. Okay, so what can we do with the sun? What can, you, what can we use the sun for? We don't need to judge the emotion of the sun. We don't need to judge the, it's the bad emotion or it's the right emotion. We don't have to judge that. Because God created us to experience the emotion. Even though the, Jesus, he expressed various emotions. We can see in the Bible, uh, Jesus expressed a wide range of emotions, such as he expressed frustrations. He sometimes angry. He, he, he can be excited sometimes. And also, he, he can be grieved. So even though Jesus can express so, much, so many uh, emotions, we can express. We don't have to judge which one is bad, which one is good but just experience it, it's okay. And we don't need to always be contented or at peace, okay? We, we don't have to be always good. Sometimes we, we can be angry. We don't, we don't need to be always peaceful. Sometimes we can show our uh, anxiety, anxious, can show our uh, grief, we can show our frustrated to God. We don't need to be good anytime. We don't need to be so good, so well, always. We can show our emotion to God. But the problem is, how can you show, how can you express your emotion to God? We need to manage it. We need to control it. We need to express our emotion to God properly. Not just, not, not just as we like, we can we, we have to control, we have to manage it and to express to God in proper way. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about later how to manage our emotion to God. Okay, so for for Christian, emotion can be uh, very troubling and sometimes can be frustrating and sometimes can be uh, untrustworthy. So. If we can control it well, it can be very sinful. If we can control it well, it can be very spiritual holiness. So the big issue is how can we 
control our emotion well. How can we express our feeling to God well? That's the issue today. So, again, God created us to express emotions. You, have, you, you don't need to uh, constrain yourself. You, you don't need to uh, depress your, yourself. You don't need to hide your emotion. You just express, express it, but show it in a proper way. Okay. So there are ways we can show it uh, godly or ungodly. Okay. So there are godly way and there are ungodly way. What do you choose to express your emotion? Okay. So I thought there are some ways to manage our emotion. So I and I, I um at least uh, the most common emotion that we have in daily life. The first one is joy. Do you feel joy today? Joy. Happy in your mind. Joy comes from our God. Okay, when you feel joy, you will like to uh, just like you want to dance, you want to sing. So when you feel joy, you can read a psalm uh, 33 okay and the second abandonment abandonment just like you are abandoned when you feel alone when you feel you are abandoned by the world you can read psalm 23 uh, 1 to verse 1 to 3 1 okay sometimes you feel fear do you feel today do you fear uh, for something? You can, you can imagine what's the feeling today. You feel hungry. Okay, you can go to McDonald's and like later. Okay. So sometimes we feel gratitude. Uh, it's a kind of thankful attitude. So we need gratitude. So when you feel angry, you can read Psalm 79. It's not it's not a standard answer, but uh, someone suggests us to read uh, Psalm 79. And if you feel contentment. You can read Psalm 63 and desperation. Uh, desperation. Yeah. It's quite a big issue. Uh, most most common uh, modern people. I I I I can think. You can think. Uh, most modern people have uh, a name, a uh, sickness called uh, melancholia. Do you know what's melancholia? So, I've, I've heard one of four have more One of four. I don't know if it's true, but if it's true, there are so many people here in this room. They are so expressive in daily life because we have more than I don't know. I just, uh, do, you, do you know about Angelia? It has a particular term. Yeah. M-E-L-A-N-C-H-O-L-I-A. Malanchelia. M-E-L-A-N-C-H-O-L-I-A. So sometimes we can feel, feel uh, expressive. Yeah, it happens every day. So, if, 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 that, if, that, if this case for you, you read Bible, especially read uh, Psalm 88. We're gonna read later because sometimes I feel depressive sometimes. Yeah. So, next is the disappointment. Yeah, it happens. It's 
disappointment. I sometimes disappointed with my student, disappointed with my wife, my kids. I feel it's cold. Yeah. <laughs> so it happens uh, often. Disappointed. Then uncertainty. Do you feel uncertainty to your future? Yeah. Because we don't know what, what would happen tomorrow. What we, what we are going to do next year. We are so uh, uncertain to our future. The 10, restlessness. Sometimes we, we don't know what to do. We are not so deep one. We are anxious. We are restlessness. So, yeah. So just the hungry, right? So deep one. Keep it up. So when you feel red, red is this, you know, red Psalm 42. And outrage. Outrage. Very serious. When your heart is filled with revenge. You want to revenge. That will make you do wrong thing. You want to revenge, take revenge to others. You feel hatred in your mind. You hate someone. You want to revenge to someone. You read Psalm 137. Then the final praise. Yeah, you yeah. are so happy today. You, you want to praise God for what He has done for you. You are so happy. You you gonna praise God. We can read Psalm 150. So, let's suppose you are so depressed right now. What are, you, what are you going to do? You can read Psalm 88. Okay, if you have Bible, you can open to Psalm 88. Let's read together. It's about page 971. 971. Yeah. You think about your, your right now you're so expressive and you are you feel so sad. You are you have so many burdens in your mind. You can read a Psalm 88. But it's long. There's total of uh, 18 verses. So I choose the five verses to read. Okay. So if you have reached the Psalm 88, let's read it. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go. First law. You are the God who sent me day and night. I cry out before you. May my prayer come before you. Turn your ear to my cry. For my soul is full of trouble and my life draws near the grave. I'm counted among those who go down to the pit. I am like a man without strength. I am set apart with the dead, like the slave who lies in the grave, whom you remember no more, who are cut off from your care. Okay. So, we are going to have a test later in your a small group discussion. We're uh, gonna think about what's your feeling right now. Or we're gonna uh, think about what's the emotion you cannot control in your daily life. And you're gonna find 
the corresponding verse is to read. I got a paper here. Okay. I summarized the, the lessons. How you can deal with your emotions with the sound. Okay, there are 12 emotions in this paper. So later in the small discussion, uh, we're gonna, everyone gonna share your emotion right now, or share your uh, emotions that you are able, you are able to control, most likely. And uh, find out the corresponding verses and read it, and then share your um, share your feelings and share what you learn from the God's word. Okay. Okay. Let's take a look at the the paper. Okay. The first one is joy. Okay. The second one is abandon. Okay. That that's um, the joy is. Uh, is learn to rejoice in the past, present, and future. Okay, Psalm 33. Maybe sometimes, anyone feel joy right now? Can you raise your hand? You feel joy right now. Okay. And the second one was abandoned. You feel you are so, you are abandoned from the world. You may have the experience to, to have the feeling you are you are so alone. You feel so lonely, and you feel just like you are abandoned by the world. You will feel so sad. You will feel so lonely, right? Especially you, you lost your your girlfriend sometimes maybe, right? You lost your girlfriend and you feel I'm so sad today. I'm so lonely today. You are. I'm, I'm abandoned by my girlfriend. So you need to read some story through, right? Anyone who feel you are abandoned right now? No, everyone knows God. Okay, God will never abandon you. So the third one is feel. Right, it happens. Sometimes you feel you are scared, you are afraid of loss, something. You're afraid of lost your 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 family member. Uh, you lost your job. Every day you, you, you lost your uh, your friends, girlfriend. We have fear, boyfriend. boyfriend. Okay. Did you lose your boyfriend? <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. Can you explain it to me? For me? For the scale of the Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. I, I think scarce. Oh, Over here? I think, I think scarce sense is just you are so afraid that you can't, kind of can't think anymore. Right. And I forget five senses, right? So we just, like sometimes you're so scared you just start running and then you don't look or you don't feel or. Yeah, yeah. Brain is stop running. It's stop stop function. You can think, yeah. think anything. Now that you can't cope. You know, now that you can't cope. You down, shut down, and don't worry about it. Yeah, it happens, right? Do you have any experience to uh, in a situation is uh, get involved in scale sensitive? You know, you know, that experience to do so, you shut down, now that you can't cope. Yeah. Okay. okay, the fourth one is gratitude. You have a feeling that you want to say to someone. You have a feeling of, of thanks. You are so thankful. You want to thank someone. A gratitude. Okay, and anger. That happens every day. For me, angry, angry, yeah, angry. So it, it, it's very practical. 
Fiber is very practical to all day life. Yeah, you can use it to control your emotion. Yeah, angry, anger is a big issue for everyone, I believe. Yeah, for parents, for 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 the uh, for the job in your for the position in your job, for uh, every role in your daily life, we are angry. We got angry. If we get angry, we cannot think anymore. We will do things wrong. So, if you feel angry, then we can reach um, 78. Okay. Then the sixth one is contentment. When your soul is at rest, well, it's quite a. When your soul is at rest, Okay, contempt. Then depression. Yeah, we we can uh, we talk about this earlier. Depression. Then the eighth, eighth month is the disappoint, disappointed. Okay. Do you feel disappointed to someone lately? Vincent, do you you feel Vincent? Make you disappointed? Can you uh, talk about it more? <laughs> Vincent, he said, he said, you don't have to give him so much. Aaron told me, you know, you don't have to give him so much. You don't have to give him so much. You don't have to give him so much. Why is that? He said, Yeah, because Vincent refused to buy Adam of the meal on the We are easy to be uh, disappointed. If we expect someone to do something but he fails to do it, we feel disappointed. I sometimes feel disappointed with my kid. Yeah, because he cannot reach the grade I want him to have. So, I remember the day before yesterday, he came, he, my, one of my kids gave me a, 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 a examination paper with an with English examination. He got uh, 89 score, 89. I'm so angry. Yeah, I think that's good. But the other is 98. <laughs> one is 89, the other is 98. But I get angry with him. Because I have three brothers. So oh, maybe one. <laughs> right. We are so easy to I'm so easy to get angry. I don't know if you if you are so or not. But for me, anger is a, a not an easy thing to control. Yeah. So every time I talk about anger in my in my school, in my small school. Because if, we, if I get angry, I cannot deal with things wrong, right. I make, I make things very wrong. So angry is, anger is a big issue, very big issue in our, in our life. If we, if we can control anger, I believe we can control many things very well. So you can talk about this later. Anger. If anger is your power too. So the next is um, where is the next? Uns uncertainty. Contentment. No, no. Let's go. This point of uncertainty. Okay, uncertainty. Yeah, it's quite a big issue too, uncertainty, especially for young people, right? Do you feel uncertain to your future, Alan? Sometimes it might be not a, it might be not an issue for me because I, I have a stable job, um, I have a stable family, I have everything stable, but. 
Uh, for those who are young here, maybe you feel you can feel uncertain, quite uncertain for your future. Anyone here feel very uncertain for your future? Here? Andy? Uncertainty. Yeah, right. We have uncertainty. We have uncertainty in our daily life. Yeah, everyone has uncertainty. And uh, but for me, it's not quite a big issue. It, it, it would be a big problem for, for the young, young person. Right. Hey, do you agree? Is there a big issue for you? Uncertainty. Helen? Do you worry you don't have a job after your graduation? No? Because you trust it, trust it, don't worry anything. Right? No, do you think she calls something guys who can't touch it at all? Uncertainty. Okay, next one, the uh, restlessness. When you are still have no fun, what you are looking for. Now, I, I can find this issue in my students. I don't know what they are doing every day. They, they always play computer games in my, in my class. They always, they, they always talk to them in my class. When, when I ask them to uh, have some opinion, but they are so quiet. But after I, I but when I am uh, uh, talking, when I'm talking, when I'm teaching, they are so talking. <laughs> so I don't know those young men are doing what's in their mind. I don't know. I have no idea. So I think they are restless in their mind. Okay. So. Think about it. You born up, you have this issue. Okay, outrage. Outrage. When your heart is filled with revenge, okay, maybe it happens before you know God. When I when I didn't when I when I didn't know God before, I sometimes I feel very angry about someone else, and I. And I actually do something to, for revenge. Yeah, so, but after I know God, I uh, become just like a man. I am so, uh, I'm so peace. I take no actions to those who are doing bad things to me. So it's quite different. So I don't know if you have sometimes have feeling of revenge. You can talk about it later in your uh, small group discussion. Then finally, praise. Uh, to find joy in the season of the soul. Okay? We learn how and why to praise God at any place, any time, and always. And okay, as we uh, Christians do uh, daily. So, it's a wonderful thing to praise God. When you feel joyful, when you feel happy, when you feel you have so many prayers from God, you can uh, you want to praise God, you can uh, raise Psalm 150. Okay, so the question is, okay. we are going to talk about this topic today in your small, uh, small group discussion. Okay, you can, among those those are uh, 12 emotions, please identify which one best describes you right now, or which one you are unlikely to control. And then you read the corresponding verses in the song, and then you share what you learned from God's word. Uh, we cannot talk about this. Feel, just feel, what, what's your feeling right now? And think about it, what's your emotion? You are unlikely to control in your life. For me, it's, it's anger. It's uh, disappointed. What's yours? We'll talk about it this later. 
Okay, and that's separate to the groups. Uh, that's all for my presentation today. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. Uh, we will be dividing the groups in the back. We will have to divide the groups in the back. Andy, can you raise your hand or stand up? So if you want a little bit of Chinese, uh, you can be with Andy. Uh, if you want a little bit more Chinese, uh, you can be with uh, Michelle and uh, Sandra. Michelle and Sandra, can you both stand up?